pretty much based on the fears that, that most of us have uh, or experiencing for the last two months is their customer is really somehow hesitate to move forward with the order. Some of them are uh, putting the orders on pause, uh, put it on hold, or they just cancel it, right? Unfortunately, uh, just to uh, minimize their, their risk. The problem is people uh, aren't having these kinds of conversations with their customers to mm. help their customers think things through more clearly, think things through more rationally, think things through at a bigger scale, right? And I think that to the extent that your clients will do that for their customers, mm. they will help their customers make better decisions, which of course will be good for your clients, which of mm. course will be good for your law firm, which of course will be good for my firm. So we all benefit when people make better long-term decisions. That's true. So in, in order to, to help them doing that, uh, would, would you agree that, you know, at this particular time, all businesses need to put more effort in, uh, in the marketing? I mean, communication with, with their customers, all my customers, uh, are part of marketing. Would you agree? Educa what you're talking about is education-based marketing. Okay. Right? So your customer, your clients, to the extent that your clients take an active interest in their customers, right? Mm. And think of their customer as a person. Don't think of their customer just as an account. Think mm. of their customer as a person, right? There is a person who owns that company. There mm. is a person who is the manager of that company. There is a person who is making the purchasing decisions for that company. And that person has a husband or a wife or a significant other. They've got children, they've got a home, they've got a mortgage, they've got a car payment, they've got tuition to pay. They've got, they got all these things going on in their lives and it's all overwhelming and coming at them from all these different directions. And everywhere you look, it's doom and gloom. Mm -hmm. And if your client can say to the customer, hey, listen, what are your plans? See, I wouldn't even be talking about what are your plans after the pandemic. I would be asking, what are your plans for the first quarter of 2022? I'd be mm. going all the way into 2022. What are your plans for this time 12 months from now? Where do you think the business will be 12 months from now? Because if you can help people think far enough in advance, they tend to think more clearly. 